Hi everyone, it's Tawny. In today's video, we're gonna just be doing a get ready with me. Um, I curled my hair with a curling iron that I had bought like over a year ago at Walmart because apparently it wasn't pretty enough for my ex, but that's beside the point. Um, and I was like, well, I have this thing, paid the money for it, and I didn't pay that much, but I still paid the money for it. I was like, I should at least use it. So I decided to curl my hair. I'm not having too much faith and hope that it's gonna last all day because I have a date in a couple of hours and I have a feeling it might relax by then, but we'll see and at least I tried. And if it doesn't turn out, my hair will just be my hair. Like I never really do a whole lot with it anyway, so it's just gonna be what it is. Um, I wish I could be one of those people that can like do all this fun stuff with their hair, but it's not me, it's never been me. It's never been me. Like even growing up, I hated brushing my hair. I, in fifth grade, had to cut my hair up to like here because I wouldn't comb it and we would have to cut big chunks out. And it was like, I'm gonna run out of hair because I refused to comb it. So then every little section just kept getting knotted into like big knots, not just little tangles, like giant globs of like days worth of not combing it. And it was kind of like, this was about middle school that like all of this stuff was kind of coming to the forefront. And it really made middle school hard. But like, then I kind of, after I got my hair cut, I realized that I hated it. Like I hated the short hair. I liked the long hair. I wanted to put in a little bit of effort. So after that point, I had my hair about to like my shoulder length or so. It wasn't bad. I thought it was nice, but looking back, I hate it. So, I mean, now I cut my hair once in like 11, 12, something like that, and dyed, no, it was after high school. It was a couple years ago, actually. I cut my hair like up to here and dyed the ends pink because I had like a three week break from the job I was working at at the time, and we weren't allowed to dye our hair while we were working there. So I did that during that time and it was semi-permanent. So it like washed out because it wasn't included in my, in my conditioner. Oh, I just used the NYX Angel Veil primer because I just wanted to use something I, I trusted and knew would work okay. But so then I've just been letting my hair grow ever since then and have no plans to ever cut it short. I thought about getting layers like up in this area, but I don't like the thought of my hair not being the same length. And then if I decide like, Two months later, I don't like it. I have to wait for my hair to catch up or I have to cut it all that length and I'm not doing that. I like my hair being long. I did get like a couple inches cut off a couple months ago, like right after quarantine because my hair was getting like really, really long. But then after that, I just haven't really like, I'm fine with it. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay foundation. Yeah, that, that's what it's called. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna use that because this is like, my all-time favorite. If you've watched this channel, you know that it's my favorite. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques Ultimate oh, Expert Face Brush. And I'm just going to buff that into my skin. Um, the last couple weeks have been kind of busy, but not like overly busy. I took a week off from filming because I kind of lost like a little bit of that creativity and like I didn't really know what to film. I feel bad filming so many get ready with me's because nothing much changes, especially when we're in the middle of like a pandemic and we're quarantining. I mean, I've been going to work because where I work at, like the, you know, company I work for, they want us to be at work doing work and not working from home. So we had to go back in like June, I believe, pretty sure it was June. And which isn't terrible. I kind of liked working from home, but I find that I get more work done when I'm at work. It's just easier that way. I can get into like, I'm at work, so work needs to get done. Not like I'm at home, so like let's watch TV. Um, I think that was really hard for everyone in quarantine the first time. I mean, at least for us like Americans, us poor Americans, um, it was just, we weren't used to working from home or at least those of us who have never worked from home. So it was hard to like transition into that and then get ourselves like focused on actual working. Like I know they did a lot of programs and sold stuff to help make it easier to work from home. Like people milked, you know, like they took advantage of the fact we were all working from home and we didn't really have much of a choice. 
So they kind of were like, let's advertise for those people and items for those people that will help them make their jobs easier, like a standing desk. So that way you like don't sit all the time and you know, but I'm hoping there won't be a second quarantine. I've been thinking we're going to go into one since like Halloween. So, or even before then. So I was kind of just like, you know, whatever happens, happens. I was just like, it's, you know, we're just going to figure, like, we're going to take it day by day, pretty much. Because I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. Our main company that I work for, they're all working from home because they're in a county where the, like, it, they're in, like, the biggest city, I would say, in our state in terms of, like, population and such. And they all are working from home because it's not safe for anyone to really be out. Like, their rules are a little bit stricter than what ours are in the rural suburban type area that I live in. And, like, we were allowed to come back. Well, we were kind of, like, told to come back by our, like, the people that fund us, but our main company are not back at work. So things are kind of like confusing right now. But yeah, I'm just taking it day by day. The one woman's like, I don't want to get my hopes up and say that like, come spring, everything will be back to normal because who knows? And I don't want to jinx it. And I'm just like, and I hate to be all doom and gloom, but I'm like, yeah, I've been thinking we were going back into a second quarantine for months. So clearly my whole like, um, my whole thinking about this pandemic and like what's going to come of it is just kind of like doom and gloom. And I hate to feel that way. I hate to be so like sad about it all, but I kind of am. I mean, I've been feeling this way since, you know, it, it, the whole thing started back in March. I've just been so like, it's made me depressed. You know, like I, I don't want to say I have seasonal defective disorder, but, or seasonal affective disorder, but I have noticed that, like, in the wintertime, I just, like, my mood drops, I just kind of, like, get very sad and, like, mopey, and just, like, not so much depressed, but I just have no motivation to do anything, and the quarantine really, like, amplified that, because at least at the beginning, it was, like, all fine and dandy, because, like, you kind of thought that things were going to get, like, made better, but like things were going to come become better quicker and we were going to get out of it after like a couple weeks you know like we'd spend 14 days in quarantine everything would be fine well things weren't fine and i think come like easter because easter is my favorite holiday i love bunny decor i love the whole like rejuvenation and everything and being a religious person person I really like the whole like what Easter stands for and everything so I was like extra bummed about missing Easter not being able to shop for Easter decor which was my whole thing because bunnies are my favorite um like you couldn't go anywhere Christmas tree shop which is my favorite store was closed so couldn't go there and get anything and it just kind of like I was just very upset all the time just could not get out of my funk I took long car rides and admittedly went to a different state because their rules were way less strict you could still go to walmart and walk around and like even if you weren't going there for anything you could just go walk around like the rules were that unstrict and i just needed to be around other people and i've never felt that way about needing to be in like crowds and stuff i've never liked crowds i've never liked large quantities of people but because of that i now like cling to stuff like that like, I don't mind going to the grocery store anymore. I just used the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in the shade C2. But, and I'm going to go in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder in my T-zone and under my eyes. But I have found lately that I'm okay with going to the market, going out places where crowds will be, going to Walmart. Like, I mean, I haven't been to Walmart, like, between, like, September and December, I went once. And I only went because I told my mom I really wanted to go. And she was like, well, let's go. Because we were out grocery shopping. So we went up. Because I wanted to get, I wanted to look at their makeup selection. Because they have certain things that CVS doesn't have. And then they also have like home stuff and craft stuff. And like they had a bunch of different things that I really wanted to look at. So it wasn't just going to be like for one little thing. Like I had a big plan of like what all I wanted. So we went and walked around and it like I really enjoyed it. And I think I've been once more after that because a couple of us in my family needed stuff from Walmart that was like only you can find at Walmart. 
so I had to make a special trip. But, like, I just found myself finding excuses to go out places like that because I just need to be around other people and, like, in that kind of atmosphere. But then there are other days, like today and, you know, half of yesterday, where I just stayed at my apartment and, like, wasn't around any other people, just hung out with the cat, watched TV. Like, that's just kind of... And I'm okay with that. Like, it it comes and goes, comes in waves. Now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Lumi bronze, bronzer. Yeah. It has, like, ten different names, but it's their big bronzer. That's, like, all you need to know because it's not that hard to tell which one it is if you know L'Oreal's products. So I'm just taking that all around my face and then on my cheekbones and just kind of, like kind of contouring. I think the shade, I use the 01 light shade. Yeah. And it's really good for contouring. It has that like lightness with the, like a smidge of like cool tone to it. So I like to use it to help contour areas of my face, but it also has a little bit of warmth as well. So I think it kind of like works just like overall. I've been feeling kind of like meh lately. I think that's why I took the break last week. I'm sure you couldn't really tell because I uploaded a video, but filming wise, I didn't film anything last week. I'm kind of running low on ideas and I don't want to be the YouTuber that like steals other YouTubers ideas because then what does that like, it doesn't separate me from my other, like my fellow YouTubers. And I don't want to say coworkers or whatever because I don't get paid for doing YouTube. I just do it right now for fun. I'd like to get paid for YouTube and get PR and things, but you have to put in the work to do that. And I don't feel like right now I'm like adequately doing that. I would like to do that though, but we're not quite there yet. But I've just kind of been feeling a little like, I don't know what to film, what to talk about. I've been trying to buy a little bit more makeup so I have something to talk about. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duo in Leche. And I have to open this because I've never opened it. I bought all of these, like almost all of them. And the bronziest shade, that's how I know how to describe it. The shimmer part on the side here, the more like highlightery part, came broken, like completely shattered. And I thought about pressing it and I could probably press it in even without the alcohol, but I just never felt like it. And it kind of bummed me out that it was like broken like that. So I just haven't really messed with it. But then I saw a video or a picture of someone comparing this to something or the NARS um, duo. I have one of those right here, but to these, and I was like, you know, I have like a bunch of those. I need to use those, test them out and see how I feel about them and not knock over all the makeup that's sitting in front of me, which is my bad. But I'm going in with the bronze, with the blush side of the Leche Duo and just going to put that, I'm gonna start up higher. That's something I've wanted to try lately is just doing my makeup differently. I really do like putting my blush on the, apples of my cheeks because I do feel like I like that look it like for me personally I kind of like it but I watched a lot of Lauren May Lauren May Beauty I think that's what her name is here on her username here is on Twitter or on YouTube or on YouTube and she has been doing her blush from like here back and then going into her eye and like everything so seamlessly like curves like a C around her eye like it goes on this part of her eye, not up here like highlighter would. And I just think that look looked so good. So I was like, maybe I'll try that one day. I don't think that's gonna be today, but I'm having a hard time getting my brush into it, even though the pan is like pretty big, but I guess I'm getting enough. Um, it looks okay. This shade isn't turning out what I thought it would, but I like it better the way that it's turning out than what it is in the pan. So I'm not like super bummed about that. And then I'm just gonna go over the bridge of my nose and like that T-zone area, just with whatever's left over on the brush. I think that looks quite nice. I like it so far. Okay. And now I have the Cody Airspun Loose Face Highlighter in Snow Much Ice. And this highlighter, I love it, but when you open it, it like, like flies everywhere 
you get highlighter all over the place and it is like pow in your face. This is like one of the most intense highlighters I've ever used and that's saying something. So I'm going to go in very lightly and then tap it off. I'm actually gonna tap it off into the cap so I don't actually accidentally like get all this stuff flying everywhere. I have a decent amount of my brush and then just gonna put that on my, the high points of my face. See that? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It like just looks so pretty. I didn't think I was going to like this highlighter when I first got it because I don't really like the Cody Airspun powder. I just find that it like the smell, that's pretty much all it is. The smell is like so disgusting to me. It smells so much like old lady perfume that I just can't deal with it. Like I just can't. So now I'm just gonna kind of buff that in with my brush that doesn't have anything on it. Well, at least the side that doesn't have anything on it just so I can kind of like tone it down a smidge just so I'm not like super crazy looking with it. But I do think that looks really nice is a very nice highlighter very nice I just like don't know what that was about but yeah okay oh we put the lid on wrong okay yeah now there's like I'm gonna be glittery all day it's great um but I think I was talking about this and then I kind of got off track now I'm going in with the elf instant lift brow pencil in neutral brown but I've just been kind of feeling very blah lately. I haven't really been feeling like putting on makeup. I've had some acne issues, which like they come and go. Like right now I'm having a decent acne day, I would say. Like, I mean, I know I'm wearing makeup, so it's covering it up. But right now, like my acne's like subsided and not terrible, but I've been trying to cleanse my face more often and just use water on it just to kind of like chill it out. And I think not wearing makeup kind of helps it, but I've noticed that when I wear makeup, I am less likely to like touch my face and mess with my face. So I think that's something that like kind of helps is wearing makeup, but I don't always wear makeup all the time. Because like to go to work, I don't really ever wear makeup just because I prefer sleep, even though I would like to be the person that wears makeup every day to work because, and I don't want to sound egotistical, but like I do my makeup the best or like I like the way my makeup looks better than like the women I work with and they don't usually do much makeup or they like would wear the makeup that like wears off like my mom does. <laughs> like she'll wear this eyeliner that like I, like she rubs her eyes throughout the day, which happens, but then it ends up like it ends up falling like she rubs it right off. And I'm just not like I don't like makeup that does that, which is probably why I wear all this makeup so that way you rub something off and then you just rub off a little bit. So I have this makeup revolution laminate brow thing and it has a brow pencil here on this side that's kind of like angled if you can see and I didn't use that I forgot it was on there but then it also has the laminate part here and I kind of forgot how this like works like I don't really know how it works but I don't know we're just gonna brush this the hairs upward after I went in with the e.l.f. pencil, which I think is fine. And I think that's just how it's going to set, which is totally cool with me. Like, not mad at it. Mad at myself for not knowing what I'm doing. But that, you know, it is what it is. You learn. Maybe I'll do it better the next time. And just kind of. Okay, I'm definitely getting that laminate look to my brows. I don't, I like the way it looks, but at the same time, do I think it looks good on me?
there's a hair hanging out near my face. Okay, got it. I just picked up that lip product for it to fall down. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look terrible. I, I like this brow better than this brow. And usually this brow is the brow that gives me the issues. I actually think this looks really nice. It makes them look a little bit too like wooly for me. But at the same time, it actually doesn't look terrible. I'm kind of liking this. I hope the product sticks and lasts throughout the day. So it doesn't like look terrible while I'm out on my date because that would be awful. But it is what it is and we're moving on. So now I'm going in with my Milani eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to put that on my lids, prime my lids for the eyeshadow palette that we're using today. So yeah, I keep forgetting what I'm saying because I keep talking about the makeup, which is the whole point of the video, but at the same time, like I wanna chit chat about things, but I've just been feeling so blah and like had no motivation to put on makeup. And I just kind of like, it's been making me feel kind of bummed out I guess. Like I look at people who do YouTube and I like think I can do that. I can talk about things. I can make, you know, interesting videos. I can try new things, do reviews, talk about what I like, dislike, like try and like put a little bit of an influence on like the products that I think you guys would be interested in and like convince you to not buy crap, which that's like the whole thing. That was the whole reason I wanted to start YouTube was I kept seeing YouTubers talk about things and I'm like, I like products like this. I like stuff that they like and dislike and like I want to be the drugstore version of that. And I do use like higher end products here and there, but I find that typically I just go in with like the drugstore stuff because that's what I can afford pretty much. Like I'm I'm doing better now that I can like afford high-end makeup, but I know not everyone can. And I know there was a point in my life that I couldn't either. So I just kind of wanted to like put my thoughts out there, but there's sometimes that I like look at my videos and I'm like, oh, that doesn't look very good. Or my thumbnail doesn't look the best. And then I'm like, why am I even bothering if nothing's working out the way I want it to? So then I just get discouraged and frustrated, but then it's like, you need to keep working at it keep showing that like you're motivated and you're willing to push yourself and make things better. And then you'll end up putting out good videos, getting more people to follow, things like that. So today we're going in with the BH Cosmetics Naughty Palette. Looks very cute, very Christmassy, but it came in like either Christmas Eve or after Christmas. This is what the palette looks like. I'm currently going in with Meringue. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And I am just putting that all over my lid and in my crease just to try and set down a base and make things a little bit lighter. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Mold and use that as my transition shade. So I really do want to like put out good videos and talk about things that are like interesting to you guys, but it can be hard and I never realized how hard YouTube really was because I just kept thinking like people know like they're all the time coming out with videos and they always have good ideas and like it's never that hard and blah 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 but then whenever I start thinking about videos to do I'm like I'm either copying someone or my video is not really interesting and then it just kind of falls flat and like none of my video videos have ever really done great I think my channel's starting to pick up a little bit but it's still kind of like in that in-between stage but I am working on it and trying to do better with my videos and the content I'm making, trying to push myself outside my comfort zone and do things that I'm not quite as like comfortable with, but like that I'm still willing to do. Okay, I just went in with Yuletide and it's like an incredibly red shade. So, um... Yeah, I don't know if we're going to, I think we're going to use it, but then we're going to cover it up. So we're going to use that on the outer corner because I don't want this look to be red. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Because I just want to stick to a very neutral brown look. And that's probably like maybe why my content's not the most interesting because I always do brown looks and everything tends to be, okay, that's turning out kind of red, but not terrible, but still red. But I just stick to like very brown looks, don't really go with color. I do color every now and then, but not like as much as I'd like to. But I'm like, 
that's what I like doing. So why stop doing it if that's what I like? Okay, that doesn't look terrible. So we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna go back into Yuletide and do that on the other eye and hope it doesn't look bad. <laughs> hope it looks just as decent as the other side. And my whole thing, I'm just not really good at doing makeup, but I like doing my makeup. Like I find like once you get your base down and you know what you're doing when it comes to doing your base makeup, it doesn't look bad, but it's still like the eyeshadow. I think I do a look and I think it looks really nice. And then it just kind of like, you know, I try and use blues and greens. I've had like a couple decent blue eye looks, but nothing like great. And okay, this doesn't look too bad. Oh yeah, that doesn't look really red at all. But I just find that like the colors just look, ugh. Now I'm going in with hot cocoa just because I like the fact that it's named hot cocoa. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner even more. I'm getting another mirror, so I have like a bunch of mirrors sitting out. But yeah, and make it a little bit deeper. But I've tried like greens, and the greens always tend to look very like, ugh, like pukey. Like they always end up looking pukey. And I hate that because I want my makeup to look nice, but it never ends up looking nice. And I don't know, like, I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong to try and fix it so that I can pull off greens and make them look nice. But, you know, I don't know. I think for St. Patrick's Day, you know, the holiday that nobody's going to be doing anything on because we didn't do anything last year. Or if you did, people like shamed you for it, which rightfully so, but still. But I might do a look then. <laughs> I'm like just dropping stuff left and right over here because it's just my bad. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so I made the edges look deep and dark. Deep, dark, and scary. And now I'm going to go in. I think I'm going to go back in with hot cocoa and do the lower lash line and start out from the corner where I did the same shade on the top. My nose is like all of a sudden really runny. I'm sorry guys. And then I'm just going to go that like, take it into the center, but where there's not quite as much on the brush, if that makes sense. I'm using what's left on the brush. Does anyone else feel like when you first start doing your makeup, like either in the morning or just in general, your eyes start to water and your nose starts to run and like your allergies start to like act up? Because it's like annoying me, but that's just like how things work for me, it seems. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go in with Snow Day, the very white shade in this palette that looks like it is a shimmery white. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner and use it on my brow bone. Yeah, well, that looks really nice. I love a good like bright white shimmer in my inner corner. I just think it makes everything look so like poppy and wow, it like really like makes your eyes like grabs that attention, like everyone's attention to your eyes in a good way. I'm gonna go back in a little bit. Yeah, whew, yeah, we look nice. We look nice. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Jingle Bells. It's either Decked Out or Jingle Bells. This is Jingle Bells, and then this is Decked Out. Let's swatch them and see what they both look like. Okay, Decked Out is more of a glitter and no, Decked Out is more of a shimmer and Jingle Bells is more of a glitter. There's Decked Out, there's Jingle Bells. 
I honestly think I'm gonna go in with Jingle Bells. I'm like really liking the way it looks. So we're just going to go in just with my finger and oh yeah, oh, oh my gosh, this is like, whew, this is nice, man. And to think I was only gonna get the nice palette. I bought both palettes because they were on sale and I had the money, so like why not? And I'm really glad I did because I saw a lot of YouTubers liked it. So I was like, oh, I'll try it and see how it works. Man, and this was on sale. This is on sale on their website too. So definitely go check this out if you are interested in some nice browns. There's some purples and pinks and reds. You got a qu quite nice selection, even some greens. Yeah, oh, that looks nice. Man, I am impressed. And there's not a whole lot of fallout. Like I have a smidge over here, but nothing that's like crazy annoying, you know? Nothing that's like gonna bother me later, which that's a good thing because I don't want that. So yeah, now we're gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara in the black tube, not the gold tube. And I tried this on a couple, ep couple, yeah, episodes, a couple videos ago, and I really liked the way that it made my lashes look. So I figured I would use it again, use it now. And yeah, I really like the way it looks. I cannot for the life of me figure out how to make lashes work. So we wear mascara and that is it. I did a video where I tried on aqua lashes that was just like atrocious and it just didn't work. I really didn't feel like I put much effort into it, but they just wouldn't stay and I just could not make it work. So it really was, it's not like I wasn't really trying. It's just that they weren't cooperating enough. So I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this is looking good. Nice. Yeah, I really like the way my makeup turned out today. I feel quite nice. So now, let's see. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. After I shake it up, I'm gonna put this all over my face just to try and get that dewiness to come out. Since I'm wearing more of a matte foundation. Yeah, I really like the way this looks. So now, since we lost our lipstick, let's see, what else do I have? What does this one look like? Oh, that's bright, okay. We are gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lace Chocolate Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dose of Cocoa. It is 848, and it is my favorite lipstick. Liquid lipstick, I should say. It's between this and the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. I think the shade I like is Seductress. I'm thinking that's what it is. It's the shade I was gonna use, but then it fell on the floor twice. So. We're just going in with this one instead. So yeah, there is the final look. I hope you guys liked the way this video turned out and liked listening to me chit chat and talk with you. I hope my hair didn't look too awfully bad that it was so distracting in the video. But yeah, definitely don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and ring the bell down below so you get notified of when I upload. Comment any video ideas if you have anything you'd like to recommend or if you have any suggestions for me, I'd love to hear those. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, including my vlogs, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.